How to install Ansible for Mac Universal Intel chip and Apple Silicon using Homebrew. Homebrew is an incredible package manager for macOS that allows you to easily install and maintain up to date your software. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. First of all, let's open a terminal you can easily find in your application and you already have a homebrew installed so the brew command is available in the command line. This is very easy, just uh, drop the command that is in the website and you can move forward. The brew command line interface allows you to easily search for all the available packages. For example, let's use a brew search Ansible. In this way, it returns all the available options. We have uh, six different options, uh, but we are looking for the latest release. So the formula we are going to use is only Ansible. As you can see, latest release is a stable one, 6.4.0 that have also some uh, dependencies. It requires uh, uh, OpenSSL, Python 3.10, PyYaml and 6 that aren't installed in this machine. You can easily take a look also on the GitHub repository for some code. To proceed to the installation process, simply type brew install Ansible and this is going to do all the uh, heavy lifting from you. You can take a look also on the official website brew.sh. There is a search bar like a search engine and if you type Ansible you got uh, the same result. So Ansible 6.4.0 is available and there is also the command line to install. So the install command is brew install Ansible and it supports a huge variety of uh, operating system for Intel and Apple Silicon. So now let's move forward with brew install Ansible. This command is uh, downloading all the necessary dependencies, so CA certificates, open SSL, as well also the other tools. It's taking care of all the downloading uh, of the software as well also verifying that is uh, we have a right uh, signature and then it uh, proceed with installing on this machine this is a completely automated process so we don't need to do anything just uh, relax and wait for this progress bar to finish this is a uh, very old school with this progress bar on the terminal but as you can see it everything runs smoothly. The actual time depends by the network performance as well as the performance of your machine. On newest uh, machine everything runs smoothly. I'm actually running the latest operating system from Apple, the macOS Monterey, but the process is similar to the previous and the following uh, operating system. It didn't change a lot uh, because this utility ran uh, on uh, some uh, pretty stable code. So basically we only need to wait a while and everything will be sorted out. Bre Homebrew is taking care of installing the software as well all the software dependencies that we need for the right architecture. So if you run on Intel you run the x86 64-bit. If you run on Apple Silicon you run on the newest ARM64. And this is uh, everything that we need to know and the, from the user point of view it changed nothing. As you can see we almost completed the download phases. Uh, this is the boring one because uh, we are moving forward to the installation phases where all the dependencies, CR certificate, OpenSSL, GDBM, MP decimal, read line, SQL Lite, XZ and the others are installed. We don't need to know what uh, exactly these packages are doing, but it's good. Uh, they are open source projects and these are great, great to project to, to explore. Anyway, we need only to wait for one moment. As you can see, Ansible 6.4.0 
ARM64 for Monterey is going to be installed on my system. This is quite a big package because more than 347 megabytes of software is installed on my machine. And now everything is sorted out. Uh, Homebrew take care of installing the software. So if we would like to upgrade on the next release, simply type brew upgrade and that's it. Now we are ready to use our Ansible code. Let me show you how. The easiest way to interact with Ansible is using the Ansible command. So let me show you with dash dash version. We can check it out that this is the Ansible core 2.13.4 and actually is running on the 6.4.0. There are also other technicalities such as a Python version 3.10 that might be useful if you want to share with friends. But now you are ready to execute your Ansible code as well your Ansible playbook. Now let's the fun begin. Yay! Now you know how to install Ansible for Mac Universal, Intel chip and Apple Silicon using Homebrew in macOS. Thank you for watching, if this video is useful for you, keep in touch. So let's automate more and save more time using Ansible technology. Have a great day! Yay!